were some songs on this record that were um, uh, I totally sunk my teeth into, like maybe I haven't done on previous albums. Missing person. The whole song basically is I'm searching for that boy who, who never questioned things. I'm trying to find that missing person. I want to find that guy. And it's basically kind of that search for, for that boy. again is um this was kind of the never-ending saga of the longer we waited i kept writing songs if only i could hold you in my arms again. this is one of the last ones we put on the record and it was wonderful it's good we got a you know a huge string section and you know it's just kind of the big movie ballad you know with all the warm and fuzzies and all that sort of thing so i had a really good time doing that song want to get into film scoring and all that sort of thing and so one day hopefully I'll do that. I Know Your Name was, was really inspired by the kids that came to Rocket Town. Uh, the staff at Rocket Town, the club, has really reached out to these kids and they've really gone out of their way to really get to know these kids. I think the kids come because I think every one of those people on staff knows their name. You know, hey Kenny, hey John, hey Sarah, whatever. I mean that they they feel secure, they feel like they've got a home. And obviously the song speaks from, I think, from the perspective of God knows who we are and who was even before the world was made, but he knows us by our name. But really the inspiration was those kids. Well, the title to the book, It's Time to Be Bold, was actually born out of an experience that I had at my house with when we were having praise and worship. You know, I just I felt like God was telling me it was time to be bold. I think when you read the book, you'll be a little surprised because I think some people will take that as going, oh, man, we got to go out and, and do all this. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the book is just living the life. And I think there's some real tender moments in the record, you know. Um, Live the Life is one of my favorite songs on the record, and I'm real passionate about that song. Some very good friends of ours who lost their baby. He only lived for two and a half days. And I'll never forget, it was just such a... Well, it was tough. It was a tough song to write. And I think it was actually that night that I went home and started writing this song. It goes, uh, No, uh, hello, goodbye. I'll see you on the other side. Deb and I have been married for 16 and a half years. And she she does keep me grounded. She's just so normal. She's really good for me. Family's doing great. Um, just growing up. I have a teenager. And that kind of that kind of changes things. But it's good. I mean, um, Ryan's 14, Whitney's 11. Tyler's nine, Anna's seven, and Emily's five. And that all changes about every month because there's always a birthday. So There's something every day. I mean, you know, we're always in, uh, you know, whether a bit of tragedy or somebody's hurt or, or somebody's doing something incredible. I mean, literally, we have one of those experiences every day. Sometimes I feel like this world is just one big gigantic merry-go-round. Gotta hold on tight till you get a girl to the end. Love Me Good was... Um, you know, I actually wrote it in this barn on the guitar, the whole verse and the whole little riff section, and uh, went back and had this course on piano, so I actually took two segments and put them together, and then I kind of came up with this Stevie Wonderish kind of bridge. Basically, the song's going, you know, like, life's crazy, 
you know, it's just so intense. And, you know, you pull there, pull there. Hey, give me love, give me love, love me good. <laughs> songs other than Live the Lie is a song called Never Been Unloved. Basically the song is, hey, I've been unemotional, I've been unfaithful, I've been unwilling, but you know what, I've never been unloved. So. Because of you. Songs for Rich Mullins, and I think um, I think if you're a fan of Rich, or if you listen to a lot of his music, I think when you hear it, I think it'll remind you Rich, you know, because he um, he loved Ireland, and he just uh, you know just the Irish kind of mode of what's happening musically. Um, it just reminds me of Rich. God, you are my God. And I will praise you, God, you are my God, and I will praise you, I will seek you. One of the many rich songs in the world. Friend will not say never because the welcome will not end. Though it's hard to let you go, in the father's hands we go. No, a lifetime's not too long to live as friends. Through the town, I never thought of gold record. I never thought of. I, I mean, I just, I just wanted to write songs. And everybody asked me then, "Gosh, what's your dreams?" And I said, "Golly, this, if I don't do anything else, it, it, then I'm, I'm a happy man." And here you are now, and you, you got gold records, and even to be able to go platinum. I mean, it's this just beyond my wildest dream. You know, it's it's been a great journey. We'll see how much longer it lasts. I, I'm I'm not about to quit. At least I don't plan on it. I feel. There's a great future here. There's a, there's a really big part of me that feels like I'm just starting over in some ways. Maybe it's because I feel like um, this is my best work yet. And hopefully I'll continue to 